I'm like a kid at Christmas. Lionel Richie reveals his excitement ahead of coronation concerts as he attends King Charles' first Buckingham Palace garden party. He entertained a billion people worldwide at the 1984 Olympics and has had more than 40 hit singles. But singer Lionel Richie says playing at the King's coronation concert this weekend will be the best thing ever. The 73-year-old Hello star, who was accompanied by his, his glamorous model girlfriend, Lisa Parigi, 40 years his junior, met the monarch and the queen consort at a special coronation garden party at Buckingham Palace today. He has been an ambassador for the King's Princess Trust charity, which helps vulnerable young people, since the 1980s and said he didn't hesitate when asked if he would headline Sunday's event at Windsor Castle. This is going to be so much fun, he said. Does this ever happen? No. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so to be a part of it is everything. He said of Charles, believe or not he cares. He is hands-on. My job is to do the things that he cannot do, interviews and things like that. His time is valuable. So when I am traveling on my tours, this is what I do. I spread the world. He said the concert was, without a shadow of doubt, one of the most momentous events in his life. In your career, there are Oscars and then there are Grammys and then there's a coronation. Are you kidding me? This doesn't happen every day, so am I excited about this? Absolutely. This is going to be the best thing ever," he said. Windsor Castle as the backdrop? Come on, let's be serious. There is no, other, example of something like this. It's not like any other time in life or occasion. Told there would be 1,000 years of history behind him at Windsor, he laughed and said, Listen, don't even say that. Now you have me scared. King Charles and Queen Camilla welcomed thousands of royal fans to Buckingham Palace this afternoon for their first garden party since he became monarch. The royal couple invited guests into the grounds of their official London residence, just three days before their coronation. The Queen, 75, looked effortlessly elegant in a navy and white coat dressed by Bruce Oldfield, the designer who is reported to be creating her coronation gown. The royal then paired this with a matching navy hat with a white ribbon, which was designed by Philip Tracy, the man who created her wedding headpieces in 2005. Meanwhile, the king, 74, was dapper in a black morning suit and top hat, which he removed to address their guests at the beginning of the engagement. As they arrived at the party, the king stood with a wooden umbrella to speak with his guests. The pair then proceeded to work their way through the crowds who have been specially selected by palace aides. The U.S. star will be performing at the coronation concert this Sunday. Lionel looked suitably smart in a black morning suit while his long-term girlfriend Lisa wore a stunning Monique Louis a blue floral dress. As Camilla greeted Lionel and Lisa, she was heard telling the couple, It's very nice to see you. During their friendly exchange, the singer was seen placing his hand on Camilla's shoulder as the group shared a laugh. Once the lights get up and the music starts it is just going to be fabulous. Get ready. It's going to be magical." Richie said he had also received an invitation to the coronation itself too. I'll be there. I mean pinch me somebody. I am really trying to be calm. I'm a kid at Christmas time. And to have the relationship I have with King Charles is just wonderful," he said. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh the Duke of Kent and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester all joined their majesties. Among the crowds were dozens of the Queen Consort's Coronation Champions Awards winners. The initiative, organized by the Royal Voluntary Service and backed by the Daily Mail, has rewarded 500 of the country's most dedicated volunteers. Baroness Doreen Lawrence was also among the guests at the garden party this afternoon and the King took time to speak with her and her family. Camilla was introduced to Neve King, 28, from Northumberland who won an award for her volunteer work at Pontland Library. Neve was nominated by her mother Helen who explained that her daughter, who is autistic, is passionate about reading. It's her big love in life, she could read before she even went to school. Her autism means she has had quite a difficult life but her volunteering has made such a difference to her. It's been wonderful, she said. Neve agreed adding, it's my passion. 
she said it had been a shock to learn that her mother had nominated her for a Coronation Champions Award but added, I love the Daily Mail and kept on reading about the awards, in it, but couldn't believe that I would be nominated. I was so shocked. I am really excited now. I can't quite believe I am here. She met Camilla after her mother wrote to the royal to say that she had won an award and would be invited to the Coronation Garden party as her prize.